Hey, it's your boy, Sergeant Hooked on Tensions. So uh, today, uh, a little bit of a special review, we're going to be um, actually reviewing Kikai Sentai Zenkaijo movie Red Battle. Um, that came with the, there's a little set that came with that movie, the Care Major Bebop Boulevard, whatever, Thing of Dreams or whatever it was, and then also the Real Soldier um, Memory of Heroes movie, three different movies on one Blu-ray disc, they also include DVD copies in there, along with the Red Sentai gear, which are already reviewed. Um, clearly the way I watched this was through English subs provided by other subbing groups because the uh, combo pack there did not come with English subs as they usually don't. Um, maybe things will change. Oh, who, who knows? Hopefully, you know, the future's bright for that. But um, anyway, getting to the review, um, this movie is kind of interesting because um, I've not seen a ton of Sentai movies as far as like the specials and stuff they do in the summer movies. I've seen a few here and there. I've more seen the Rider ones. And usually both the Rider and Sentai ones usually come out at a time when the teams already been formed and then it's them with like a special adventure they're going on. Like the Rhea Soldier one, the time slip, whatever it was thing where they had um, uh, the repaint of Kishiri, Kishiri Ryo and Kishiri Yujin or whatever it was. So things like that um but this is a little different and it seems to kind of be maybe sort of a trend sort of because kira major when it started um actually before it started episode zero premiered with um i want to say it would have been with the zero one movie maybe i'm not 100 percent on that but i know that it premiered before the show same thing with this this technically timeline wise would take place before the show starts i guess but not really because it's kind of odds and things that are already set in place when this movie starts. Basically this movie is just kind of a primer to get you used to the characters you're going to meet in Zenkaiger. So, um, but overall it's really fun. Um, the whole plot of it, you, you could start off with a good fight with the Zenkaigers. Twitch Nintendo attack, they come in and transform, you know, change the Zenkai, all that good stuff. Really good fight choreography, really fun fight showing off the, all their abilities. You know, Jiran dancing a little bit and kind of being more forceful and aggressive. Uh, Galwan being even more aggressive with his claws and stuff. Vroon using his pick and things like that and his strength. Um, Majin using her magic, of course, and of course Zenkaiser kind of doing a lot of flips and dodges and stuff. Um, but uh, we get this little scene right afterwards where the group, they, you know, demorph and uh, they're going to go their separate ways for a little bit and go do some stuff. Um, I think Majin has to get back to the cafe, the colorful cafe for a shift and um, Vroon wants to go read some books and gawain has got something going on, whatever. I think he's hungry or something. Um, but uh, Jiran and Kaito will go together, and um, at this time, at the Tojitendo base, they um, one of the Kudaks was watching them, one of the, one of the Kudaks survived the battle they had with some of the Kudaks and general people, and was watching them, was kind of like, it's kind of like, what's going on? Well, he's the one that goes back to the base, and they actually put the gear on him, the Tojitendo gear on him, Toji gear on him, um, and make him into Warumano world, villain world, basically. Um, so this guy is kind of a pastiche combination of... A bunch of the Sentai villains from the last little while. Um, actually, throughout the whole history, I'm pretty sure. Um, and his power is to basically um, bring variant, basically, versions of these villains back, even if they were reformed in their series. Like uh, Bosco's in there, where well, he wasn't reformed. Kumon's in there, and a few other ones that, if, even if they were reformed, they still come back as evil with his powers and help him, like, basically fight the Zenkaiders. So he catches the Zenkaiders off guard. Each one of them gets their Gatlinger stolen. Bosco takes, uh, Bosco and uh, Sally take Kaito and Jurans. Um, Majin, I can't remember who takes hers. I know that uh, Gawans is taken by Zamigo, and I think he was from, I'm pretty sure it was, it was, it was LVP, Lupin versus, yeah, Lupin Ranger versus Pot Ranger. Um, and a few other villains, who Kimon is the one that takes, um, from Ninja, is the one that takes, or Madame Hodius, is the one that takes uh, Vroons. So they take their stuff, like their Gatlinger and their Gears. And before this, we get a small scene with Jaron and Kaito where Kaito mentions um, he sees something, some change or something like that, and it reminds him of, of a token he has. It's actually a red, the all red Sentai gear that comes with the pack, you know, three pack that I reviewed. Um, and said he was given that by his parents. And they said, it shows a flashback, like, here, we want you to have this. Remember us by if we ever get separated. And also, he's like, well, what is it? Like, oh, they say it's a, uh, a prototype of some technology we're working on. So kind of interesting that we're getting a little bit of lore piece here. Um, in this kind of off to the side special thing. I would say this will probably take place like at least past episode five or six where we've gotten the full team together, besides uh, it's, uh, two guys are clearly. But anyway, um, so he has the gear and he's like, it's really special to me, so I keep it in my wallet next to me and blah, blah, blah. 
So anyway, we go forward and clearly they get all their Gitlingers stolen and they're all captured like we saw in the trailers with the chains on them and everything. And it's interesting when this thing, when this came out and was previewed, I actually thought this was going to explain how they got their powers and why, because like there's a, there's a shot of Aka Ranger giving Zenkaiser's Zen gear back to him, which Zenkaiser's design is based off of Aka Ranger and um, Varadin actually. So um, not big one, actually. A lot of people think that, but not technically big one. Anyway. So it's not though. It's it's just a sort of scene that happens later. But anyway, so they're there. The in Waramon world there, and he's like, "Ha You've been bested by these villains. They have a second chance. I mean, you know, lot in life. Blah blah blah. And we're gonna destroy everything. And evil, evil, evil. Blah 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 blah. Speech. Um, and Kaito essentially is like, "I can't let that happen. Even if you know, I don't care if we don't have our our gearlingers or our gears, or I can't move. I don't have my power. I'll do everything I can to keep people happy at full force, full power." And at this point, just for a few seconds before, we get this funny thing where Juran is apparently sweating. Apparently Kikonoids can sweat. I think they sweat oil or something. I don't know. Um, and he's sweating and apparently, so Kato's like, ah, and it looks like he breaks out of the chains with the camera pans down and he just slips out of it because the, the oil. <laughs> this show does not stop with its zaniness and I love it for it. I love it for it. But anyway, so he gets out and um, he actually runs at the bad guys, trips um, uh, what's his name? Um, Sally, and takes his Gertlinger. Um, and I don't think he gets his gear back, but he comes back. And he's like, "What are you gonna do? You don't have your, you know, your gear to transform." And he plays, "I don't need it." And he throws up his wallet, but in slow mo, a bunch of change flies out, and then the red Sunday gear puts it in. You know, bum bada bum bum bum. You know, um, and fires, and it summons all forty-five Red Rangers. Um, well, 44, clearly he's not a Red Ranger. I guess Juran would be the Red Ranger. But anyway, so some of the other Red Rangers of the past teams before him. Um, Aka Ranger through Kira Major, clearly. And they come through and they're, they're helping to fight. Um, they actually catch, they come through and they actually catch the bad guys off guard. And they, each Red Ranger of the, represents, that comes up to, that gets the Gearlingers back for the, for the Zenkaijers, represents the team that that Kikanoi is based off of. So Aka Ranger gets the Zenkaiser gear back and gear oh well, he already has Gearlinger to give back to Kaito because clearly he's based off of Zen uh Akared. Um and then um Tyranno Ranger from Zero Ranger of course does it for Juron, Ga Red for Gawan, um uh, Maji Red for Majin, and of course Boken Red for uh Vroom. And it's really cool this little scene of them like kind of meeting their senpais of sorts. I don't think they even get the like shtick of it. Um, and I'm also wondering, I thought about this too, if we're going to get something revealed why these specific Kikanoids, the Zenkaijers on the team, are modeled to look like and resemble the, the, the teams that they're, you know, that they're based off of. I wonder if it's going to be revealed that Kaito's parents built them, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so they get their gears back and they have this whole speech about heroism, protecting smiles, blah, blah, blah. And uh, actually, Akarid is watching them and they transform, right? And it's really cool. Um, they do their little, you know, Mm -mm -mm. Bon bon. they do a little spin they transform and we get a really nice little like you know five of them together transformation thing where they boom 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 get their suits and uh they do their poses and all of that you know Himitsu no power and all that and actually Ak Akarid's like wait you're not a red ranger <laughs> and Kudzo's like <laughs> like he's about to explain it and then he just turns around and they start fighting so we get this huge fight with all the red rangers plus the Zenkaiders together and they do like we are super sentai and they do a pose together with the other reds behind them and it's really cool. It's a really entertaining thing. It's only like a half hour long or so, but it's still fun. It's still a really fun thing to watch. Um, I think it premiered alongside the Saber summer movie with Bach in it, Baha, the, uh, with Hakeon. Um And uh, I think so anyway, but whatever. Um, like I said, overall, it's really fun. So they beat, they beat Waramon in World. Um, he actually uses a bunch of different attacks based off some of the villains. Bandor, who is Rita Repulsa, and a few other villains we've seen throughout the franchise. And they end up defeating him, of course. Um, there's no giant monster fight this time, I don't think, if I remember right. Um, and uh, um, so they defeat him, and then um, the other Red Rangers come up, and actually Aka Ranger demorphs, so we actually to see um, Tsuyoshi Kaizo's actor. Um, and he comes over, and he's like, uh, you know, hey, blah, 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 you know, you're the leader, and we have faith in you, we're glad to leave, you know, we have to go now, but, you know, we're glad to leave the legacy of Super Sentai in your hands, and... Um, he, uh, you know, thanks him whatever, shakes his hand, and then they kind of fade away and go back to their worlds or whatever. Um, and then also we get this funny little scene with the villains, and because they're like, um, they're like, yeah, we're going to go back to our worlds and, you know, can go back and do evil things in our own worlds and blah, blah, blah. And like, we thank you. And 
Zemigos even says to Gallon, like, maybe next time we meet, I'll like, we'll actually have a real duel. And um, so they leave, and Carter's like, wait, are we, because he's always talking about, like, what, what, like, wanting to be the first at everything. He says, wait, are we the first Super Sentai team to release all the villains? <laughs> so, overall, a really entertaining little, you know, Zenkaiger side story, I guess. I don't really know where it would fit. I, it would, to me, it kind of feels just kind of like a, a primer to get people ready for the show. He even says, you and on March 7th, we'll be ready to blah, 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 blah. So, like, clearly it's, in, it's intending that, you know, this is, like, to get you ready for the show. Um, it's really fun. It's entertaining. It's cool to see the cast together and doing their thing. Um, again, timeline-wise, I would assume it would take place sometime after um, Vroom gets added to the team and they have the core five. Um, and maybe after the Zenkai Red special, or maybe just before, just because there was the mention of, you're not a Red Ranger, and he's like, ah. So I wonder if it would be this, like, the first five, six episodes of the show, this movie, then the Zenkai Red special, part one and two, then the rest of the show going forward, I think. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really good stuff. I really liked it. I really liked um, the uh, cinematography was great. The fight scenes are great. Choreography, seeing the transformations and stuff. Plus, it's a movie, so there's better like a bigger budget with things too not that totally really struggles with their budget by any means um but really entertaining and a lot of fun and i've been enjoying zenkaidra all the way through so it was just more zenkaidra content um so i think the next thing to happen is i want to say next week i think there's supposed to be special episodes of saber i want to say that have the zenkaidras in it because it's leading up to superhero senki the like big crossover we're getting with all 45 years of sentai and 50 years of rider together in one film um so I think there's supposed to be like two episodes in a row of Saber that are special ones that have the Zenkaijers in it. Um, and there's also like like one or two of Zenkaijer, which right now is fine because uh, like there's not like a giant like cliffhanger. I guess there was some cliffhanger in Saber that happened that now we're going to have to wait till near August to like know what's happening. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's coming up for the show. Um, I haven't yet watched episode 19 subtitled yet. I haven't seen if it has been subbed anywhere. Um, I'll keep a lookout for that and watch that and clearly review that as well. Um, really excited. I wanted to quick talk about this. I tried doing TikTok earlier and it didn't work, but um, I'm really excited because I've always wanted a Memorial Ryu Sulkin. I love Ryu Soldier. It's like my all-time favorite Sentai season. Um, and uh, I mean, clearly, why would I get a tattoo of it? <laughs> but anyway, I was uh, recently on eBay and I found a really, really, really good um, listing of it for not a bad price. And I won the bidding and the bid and um, it'll be here July 30th, near the end of the month, something like that. So definitely expect a Toku Toy Bama. It's probably going to be a longer one, I'm thinking, just because I want to kind of show some of the stuff it does. I might not show every sound because I don't have every Ryu soul, but I do have some extra little Ryu, like the, you know, the armor souls, you know, um, coming that I, I, some of the different power ones, you know, like the, um, the listening soul and the, you know, the, the highest soul for running and a few of the other ones, plus the ones I have, the red Ryu soul, blue and pink that I have with my mecha that I recently got, I feel like a month ago or so month or two ago. Anyway, so yeah, I'm getting a real soul and I'm really happy about it. So expect a Toku Toy View on that for sure. And probably some videos with that, like maybe doing some of the roll call stuff from the show with that. Um, but yeah, definitely that. Um, I think I'm getting still my Ninja, not Ninja, uh, Hurricane, um, Hurricane Gyro slash uh, Wind Morpher from Ninja Storm. I contacted the seller because I was supposed to get it just passing Friday didn't come so um they said they're going to investigate it and get back to me and let me know what happened and if, if it's still in transit or if it was lost or what have you so um hopefully getting that soon and once i do i'll definitely do a toku to toku toy view on that and also a henshin video with that too um but yeah thank you guys so much for the support i see we're at 192 subscribers or so or just right below 200 which is crazy for me again this kind of just started as a fun thing. I took my old YouTube channel where I had like Let's Plays and stuff and streams and crap like that and just kind of reformatted it into being a Toku Tuber YouTube channel. And you guys have enjoyed the content and I appreciate it. And I thank you guys so much for, you know, liking the video, sharing if you do, um, watching the videos all the way through, commenting, things like that. I really appreciate it. Even, it's funny because like every video I put out, I get like exactly one dislike for some reason. I don't know if there's like one person that doesn't like me and is just like on the hate train to like dislike every video or something. I don't know, but um, kind of wish that YouTube would tell you who is liking and disliking, but whatever. But anyway, I really enjoyed making the content. I love doing this kind of stuff for you guys. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie, the Zenkaiger movie Red Battle, um, what you guys thought of it, what you guys think of the gear and stuff like that. If there's other related stuff you want me to review, clearly I will do that. Um, I'll try to, um, as soon as I can find it subbed, 
uh, do the Memory of Heroes thing for Rear Soldier and also the Care Major one. Again, I have both of those, all three of them on Blu-ray, but they're all in raw Japanese. So I, I, I mean, I can watch them, but I'm not gonna understand anything of the plot unless I have the subtitles. So um, as soon as those get subbed, I'll review those as well, talk about those, what have you. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And as always, so hooked on Henshin's, pew, 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 bum, bada, bum, bum, bum. All right, bye.